Hi, and welcome to Confucius Say What? For today's show, we're going to be discussing Confucius himself and some of the major themes or practices of Confucianism as a religion. Confucius was basically this poor boy who grew up to be a teacher. He really loved learning and his life ended up becoming devoted to teaching other people and just inspiring others to be good people and teaching them that they needed to be active learners in their education so that they could become good, um, right, just spiritually enlightened people. Uh, around in his 50s, he tried to become part of the government and get really involved in trying to actively change things for, for China, which didn't actually end up so well for him. No one really wanted to listen to his ideas. They kind of just like brushed him aside. So he went back to his home state and finished out his life teaching and whether or not he knew it, uh, he really actually had influenced a lot of people. It ended up being his disciples who wrote down his teachings that they learned from him and put them into books. One of his disciples, Menachus, actually wrote a book called the Book of Menachus, which is one of the four major books um, in Confucianism. And in his book, he sums up what the main purpose of Confucianism is, what the main goal is, and I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up. Um, it says that the basic teachings of Confucianism are that human beings nat are naturally good and they commit evil acts in violation of their true nature. So Confucius had these um, rules, more, more like virtues that he, he believed that people should live by, and there were four virtues, or they're actually called day, that um, Confucius wrote out for people. They were, I'm going to read them out of the book because they have pronunciation. Um, they were Jin Zhu, Rune, it's spelled Jen, Li, which is pronounced Li, and Wen. Each of these we'll talk about a little bit later in the video, and we'll have some cute little like how-tos and what not to do's sort of going along with how Confucius like tried to teach others what to and what not to do in life. Confucianists believe in Tao, which means the way, which it refers to the moral order in which that you should live your life. Kind of like in Hinduism where you have like your um, Dharma where you're supposed to live this certain way based on who you are. But this is called Tao. Um, it's the way that you need to live. Confucius believed strongly in this idea of day, which means virtue, and it was the idea that you need to actually physically do certain things and live out your virtues rather than just teaching them to people. So we're going to show you next in the video how to actually live out each one of the virtues, but all of these virtues are all encompassing of this idea of day, which is to actually live out your virtues. The first virtue that we're going to talk about is Jin Zhu, which is the idea that somebody needs to have a perfect moral character. In the book that we looked at, it talked about how the person generally can only be a man because it's talking about becoming a gentleman. And so in our video, we did literally how to be a gentleman. And you'll see what Jay does for Emily in a second. But actually, what Gen Zhu means is that it doesn't matter what class you're born into, if you educate yourself properly, you can become a gentleman, meaning the gentleman class in society, which also encompasses being a gentleman to other people, so being polite and being morally just towards others. So in this first clip, you're going to see how to be or how to act out the more literal sense of being a gentleman or acting out uh, Jin Zhu. And then the clip after that, you'll see how not to act out Jin Zhu in the literal sense. Me too. Me too. So nice. Thanks so much, Jay. Tell me. 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 Tell me.
talk about is Rune and it's basically, it's very, very similar to the idea of the golden rule in Christianity, but what it is, is it's more do your best to treat others the way you would want to be treated, but it doesn't go as far to say that you necessarily have to love your enemies. You just needed to treat them with more of a respect, almost. So this is Rune, what to do and what not to do. So we'll explain it a little more later. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me go get you some napkins. <laughs> kind of comes along with rune is like the opposite it's called shu it's um almost like a subset of rune and it's basically don't do treat others the way you wouldn't want to be treated so like i said there's going to be a do's and don'ts for rune it's more like shu is the don't and rune is the do the last virtue that we have a video for is Lee, and it's the virtue of behaving appropriately in different social situations. So the videos that we did are a little bit extreme compared to what Confucius believed. Um, basically, Confucius wanted people to act appropriately, like if they were talking to their elders or if they were talking to somebody who was below them, meaning like if they were their boss, or obviously you have different ways that you would talk to your friend versus your teacher, so that's kind of what Confucius was talking about. Our examples are kind of very extreme, but I think you'll enjoy them. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, JJ. Oh, hey, oh, how's, how's, pretty good. How's everyone's day going? Good. 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 What's, what's up? up? Dude? Dude? Yo, you watching that Bruins game? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Oh, the kid's over. Dude, I'm all up in that game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. Come over. It'll be fun. All right. All right. we're going to talk about is when and it's the virtue of cultural arts which is basically just the idea that Confucius had where to be educated you needed to develop um, skills that are seen as more like sophisticated and educated so uh, it take more intelligence almost so things like archery calligraphy Confucius encouraged his students to understand art so understand poetry and art and music and not just to know it but to actually understand and try to like interpret it um, so that's the last virtue that Confucius suggested or gave to his students and that's the last virtue that's involved in Confucianism <laughs> of all these virtues is to help <coughs> Confucianists become more harmonious as a society and as people so um, that was Confucius really believed that to help society and to work together as a community you needed to fo focus on yourself and your relationships with people. He believed that if you followed these virtues then you would be harmonious in your life and you'd be able to fully reach your spiritual potential, but of course, like I said earlier in the video, your spiritual potential can't be reached in this life. He didn't even believe he was at his spiritual potential. That was his take on how to live your life in right now. That's basically the short and sweet version of Confucianism, so I hope you enjoyed our video. Bye! Oh, I'm
just prepared my World Origins project. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hi. 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 Who's ready? How's it going? Nice water you got there. Thank you. Yeah, fill it up. Yeah. You gonna drink it? Okay. We ran too. Why is there a nice No, Talking to each other. Mr. McCafferty! <laughs> I'm laughing already. Okay, go. Oh, you have to <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hello. Emily, run. Just watching the video back and I just wanted to make a correction. I said Menicus earlier in the video. I meant to say Mencius as his disciple.